You're not rubbing your bottom on the carpet. Don't do it, Daisy, not next to the Hoover Turbo Power Boost. You're very naughty. What are you doing? What are you playing at? You're very naughty, Daisy May. Stop it. I know what you're up to. Stop rubbing your bottom on the carpet. She's rubbing her bottom on the carpet, folks. Look, naughty girl. You're so naughty. Wait for someone to join. Oh, nobody's, nobody's watching. Right, it's 5 p.m. in the United Kingdom of England and Great Britain. Oh, I don't think I'm public. We're not public, Daisy. Oh, we are public. I've got some folk looking now. Oh, we're public. Oh, Daisy, look, you can't stop. No, I can't show you on YouTube rubbing your bottom on the carpet. Oh, folks, I'm all alone on Locazione. Um, and I've just found an old friend in the loft at my mum's house. And I had a look at the video for it. It's not these two that you can see. I'll show you what my old friend is. And I, I watched this video of this old friend from a long, long time ago. It is a vacuum cleaner, by the way. It's not a, I don't have any friends, obviously. <laughs> um, so I thought, I, I watched this video I made of this old friend and I didn't even switch the thing on in the video. I thought, crikey, what a disappointment. Anyway, this is what I've, you saw this on Monday, didn't you? So I recorded the first video of that Hoover Turbo Power Boost a while ago and I uploaded it Monday and it's actually kept here at my mum's and I saw the video and thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it down from the loft and have a proper look. So it's had a good clean. I haven't switched it on again because it definitely needs a new belt. I've put new brush roll bearings. Oh no, not, no, it wasn't that one. It was that one I put brush roll bearings in. So it, it is looking a lot, lot cleaner. As you can see, all lovely jubbly. Oh, that hose could be better. I should have soaked it for longer. So, um, yes, it wasn't, um, I won't show you my awful slippers I have here. It, uh, it wasn't re reclining. Oh, it does, it reclines now. You know, it's all, it's all fine and dandy. Just need to put, a new belt in and then I'll try it again. This one I've worked on today, you haven't seen this yet. I've half made the video of this one. Oh, the sun's gone in. It was lovely and sunny a minute ago. Oh, just wait a minute, I'll turn the light on. This is Harry. Hello, Harry. Ooh, sulky boy. You've had your food and Daisy, stop whining. So this uh, High Power Compact Junior, the deluxe thingy, the jig, that, um, oh, that's had new brush roll bearings. That was it, yes. Um, I've fitted new bellows to it because it had a tiny hole and I fixed the problem with the bag door. Uh, uh, that's it. This is all being cleaned out. So I'll finish the video for that. I might do that at home, actually. I think that'll look nice on my plush pile carpet. That's the cleaner that will work on my plush bar carpet, as will the turbo power. Look at that lovely duo of cleaners. Right, this is what, I hope the sun comes out again. Um, this is what I found in my loft, in my mum's loft. This is an early Hoover Junior. And oh, stop whining, Daisy. This is an early Hoover Junior, pretty early anyway early of the plastic bodied Hoover Juniors. And um, yes, I found this in the loft and thought, oh crikey, I, I must, I'll get that down and have a look at it. I've not done anything with it, but it's very clean. And um, I started undoing it because um, I don't know if I even showed the motor. It's hard to see the rating doodah. It's a model U1346, 250 watts. I think it's from 68, 34, there's an eight. I think that is the uh, Hoover date code that they used for ages. So I think eight is 1968. So some of it's come off. So anyway, I took, I was having a look and I thought, crikey, look at that. I was going to see if it had a suppressor. I thought, is it too old to have a suppressor? Whoops, don't lose the screw. Or 
has the suppressor been removed? But now it's got one and I've never seen anything like it. I don't know if you can see it. That thing there. It looks absolutely huge. It's pretty clean. And it's uh, got a two position height control. So you have to turn the cleaner over to adjust it. It's very difficult with one hand. You need two hands to do that. What's the belt like? Oh, I've slipped, I, well, it's either not got a belt or I've slipped it off. I slipped it off. Brushes are quite good. The Hoover beats as it sweeps, as it cleans the action. So let's, oh no, I've got to put the thing back on first before. What day are we on? I don't, I don't know what days we're on at the moment. Is it Thursday today? I don't know. Oh, it is Thursday. It's Good Friday tomorrow, that's right. And tomorrow there will be a new video for me featuring a brand new vacuum. It's quite a long vid. I edited it as much as I could, but uh, it's still over 30 minutes. That's no good, that one. Where's the other one? Um, yeah, so it's a modern vacuum you can buy today. But I've been in quite a vintage mood of late, seeing as the world is so messed up. and I'm trying to hark back to a nicer time when we had British-made appliances that lasted instead of the Chinese junk we have now. Right, there we are. So let's reveal what this is. It is a Hoover Junior with a big roundel. See, there's no sticker there, as I showed you. It was uh, um, underneath. Right. right, there's no movement. There's no movement. There's no movement back and forth. There's no movement up and down. So the bearings should be okie dokie in this one. Right, it's hard to see, it's hard to tell. Can I use my camera to see the little, need to hold it to the light. Go into the light, folks. I was going to go live on Instagram. I can't work out how to do it anymore. I pressed the button and nothing happened. Hang on. I'll have to put this down. And uh, it, there we are. Just hold it up to the light myself. I'm looking at the diagram to see which way the belt goes on. Because if you put it on wrong, it slips off. So we've got a bit of fluff around it. I don't know what you're looking at now. Oh, that's an awful lot of fluff. Is that going to work? Um, bear with, bear with. Oh, I can't see. Thing. It's got so, it was so, I thought, oh, I'll go on live. It's so lovely and bright and sunny in this room. And then as soon as I go live, I don't think that's right. Oh, hecky thump. I can't edit this, you see. I'm not, uh, can't edit live vids. Mm, I better not swear. Right, I think, no, I think, it, I think it was correct. I don't know. It'll pop off anyway. <laughs> It'll pop off if it's not. So, oh, that's a bit. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Right, there we go. Yeah, so this is not early, early plastic bodied because this has got a plastic ducting here. The earlier plastic bodied junior, the one before this, I think it had the pumpkin cover that had metal. So it's got the original brown flex. It's probably changed colour a bit, but it's, it's, I think it was more originally that colour. In fact, it's probably changed colour since I last looked at it. As you see, the handle doesn't quite match. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing a Becco review. A Becco what? A washing, a Becco washing machine. Why have a Becco washing machine when you've got a Miele? That would be a big step back. I'm going on holiday at some point and um, in a cottage and I will be having a look at, to see what washing machine there is and if it's worth filming, I'll film it. Well, I probably will film it anyway. It might be a Becco. 
but in my experience, holiday cottages, they tend to have those cheapo indesits, but Beko are fairly cheap, aren't they? So I will be filming the washing machine in the holiday cottage and any cleaning appliances they have. Right, I'm just, I'm assembling this because, hmm, I'm going to switch it on live. So unless you've looked at my very early Facebook posts, you won't have seen this going, because if you saw the video of this, you won't have uh, seen me switch it on. I've no bag for it. Oh, that's a trouble being at home. Let me just angle. No, oh, that's not going to help, is it? I should get my... I've got a, a thing for my tripod to put... To, I'm filming on an iPad, so it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Let's just get rid of that box. Right. Oh, yes, it's, the, it's definitely the original cable. Yeah, this is from a really old video. And um, I can watch my old YouTube videos here at my mum's because I'm not logged in. And um, you're not supposed to watch your own videos. Not, uh, you know, you can when you're uh, watching them in studio, if you know what studio is. If you do, if you make YouTube videos yourself, you'll know what YouTube studio is. So I can watch if I need to ref refer to an old video. I can look at it in YouTube studio. But it's nice to be able to see it on the big telly. So I've been looking at some of my very old videos and cringing at them. And I'm thinking, crikey, they go on for ages. I know these, my videos I do now are very long, but... <laughs> my older video is about double the length but I wasn't um it's quite new at YouTube then right so there we go that's that this has got metal cable hooks so they're not going to break that's it now we need to attach the dust bag I don't know I can't see what you're seeing you see that's the trouble here's the dust bag mm -mm. It's got a bit creased. As I say, it's been been in loft. But it has been in... Oh, look, it's, it's dropped some dirties on the floor. Hang on, let me give it a blow. I haven't got a duster here, have I? Not being at home, I haven't, I haven't got... Oh, that bear, oh, it looks a bit... Yeah, it's not on properly, that, is it? Crikey, this thing won't know what's happened to it. It's been... Unboxed on my channel years ago, then forgotten about. Shoved in my mum's loft. And now it's suddenly getting the limelight for a live show, a live blowing up, expect. I remember commenting at the time that this there's some powdery stuff in the bag, and it did, and it still does, look like Dyson Zorb. So I can't imagine somebody using Dyson Zorb. I can't see any comments at the moment, folks. I'm not looking... Too busy putting this on. There we go. I think that's on. I just need to do it up. So I can't even remember what this sounds like. Got that many. I have started finally re uh, not re revisiting. It was like revisiting some very old cleaners and I'm starting to refurbish them now <laughs> so some of the first look unboxing and first look videos that I put up on my channel years and years ago you might be getting a second look at some of them well all of them hopefully unless I've sold them right hang on eek up we go oh hang on is that that's it the bag isn't great it's all oh, it's okay I mean, it needs, um, it's creased. I could get my little handheld steamer on that. It's not in the best condition, but find a genuine bag like this. Well, that's not going to happen, folks. Yeah, I need to, oh, can't do it. I should have got a bag before. Um, I could still switch it on without a bag. This is so old, it's got the, well, it'll be perishing. It's got the foam muffler stuff i don't know for what it was for sound insulation um can't remember the reason for it but anyway the later ones didn't have this foam inside you won't be able to see it so 
It's a big dark hole there, isn't it? I'll be able to switch this on. I wonder if I should move Daisy and uh, Harry out of the room. I, mean, I know it does work. It did work the last time I switched it on, but that was years ago. Years and years. Right, let's have a live switch on and hopefully not a live blow up. We don't want it to blow up. Right, there we are. I put the plug, it didn't have a plug on it. That was the point. Yeah, when I unboxed this first, it didn't have a plug on it. And for some reason, I didn't put a plug on it and try it in the video. I mean, I wouldn't do that now. I wouldn't be so cruel to show you a vacuum and not switch it on. Right, let's get this junior. If all the lights go out, we know it's blown up. And of course, the internet will go down as well. So let me just pull my pants up in case I show up on my underpants falling down. I have got jeans on, but I don't know. I must have lost so much weight. Right. Oh, my. Oh, he's going to risk it, folks. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, you can. Just. I'll move it along the carpet a bit. Doesn't matter. There's no bag in it. Ooh. Has the belt. No, the belt's on. Yeah, it doesn't sound... I think it needs a new belt. Yeah. That sounds all right to me. What does the motor sound like without the belt? A vacuum cleaner that's uh, over 50 years old it doesn't sound bad now i'm gonna have to work out again how to put the belt on because the diagram isn't quite well no if the belt's not on it's gonna it's gonna pop off let's turn you around there the that's, that's the Beats As It Sweeps As It Cleans Action. That's my channel name. Most of you should know why my channel name is called I Beatsy Ick. Because it stands for it beats as it sweeps as it cleans. Hmm. I might put it in setting two, actually. It's not a very thick carpet, this. My... Uh, mum's house and how do you do it oh that's it let's have a floor's eye view this is my favorite view when i'm making when i'm doing a bit of a demo let's move my laptop when i'm doing a demo my favorite view of a vacuum is this you know when you when you're sort of at floor level Then, oh, pull up my socks. amazing it's been left for so long I thought ah, it does need a bit of TLC it'll be better with a bag inside the bag and when that bag could I could gently wash it and uh, when the creases are out of it nice little machine there from 1968 yeah, there's, a, there's my mum's modern SIBO actually I haven't turned on this this is still going to sound I didn't do anything with the motor you know this model you've just seen um it's all clean it's cleaned up now but it did sound quite noisy it's going to probably sound noisy still i've not switched it on since i've had it apart but i didn't touch the motor i looked at the motor sometimes a turbo power 
the motor can be noisy if the cooling fan is clogged up with hair and muck. Um, it could also be noisy if the main fan is broken, if there's a blade broken. But it all looked fine. It was the motor was actually when I took the hood off, it was very pristine. So it could be the bearings for the agitator. Let's see, this might blow up. Still noisy, but I don't know. It, it won't. Poor. Oh no, that's just a whiff of air freshener. Um, it is still noisy, but once the, I don't know, did I put the belt back on? Let me just check. It's all very clean now, spotless. It needs, oops, it needs a polish. I haven't got all my polishing paraphernalia here because I'm not at home, obviously. But if you remember from Monday's video, it is a lot cleaner. Oh, the, uh, the, there's no belt. There's no belt on it. I, I binned the belt and I haven't got any here, I don't think. So I think once the belt's attached, might not sound quite so noisy. Ooh. Let's close that. Yes, this one um, we've not seen properly yet. There will be a proper video and um, in the video for this, this is from 1980. And in the unboxing and first look, I'm about to do a demo of that to add to the first look. Um, I, va I cleaned this vacuum cleaner with another vacuum cleaner, also from 1980. It happened to be here, and I looked at the rating sticker, and it was also a 1980s machine. So this was already in very lovely condition, but the bellows were split just at the front. I have fitted new bellows here. I just need to put a cable tie um, a, plastic, a white plastic cable tie I need to put around that. I don't have any here. Um, I also cleaned it out. I've not done anything with the motor. I put a headlight bulb in it. This is an exclusive high power compact. And you can see also, ta -da, it's got the lower cord hook. This was, I believe, an electricity board exclusive. And on my channel, fairly recently, I uploaded a short TV commercial for the electricity board vacuum cleaners and uh, this model or a very similar model to this um, was actually featured. Oh, I need to put a bag in it actually folks. I need to put a bag. I think it's dry. That bit was still a bit damp. This has all been stripped today, all, all taken apart, everything came out. And this uh, little sort of um, foam donut that helps to seal the bag uh, was quite matted. So as soon as it was washed, it just popped out. I was quite amazed how quickly that, that restored itself. So I have got the new high power compact from Hoover bag. Are you going to go in? Don't play silly buggers, will you? I'm oh, sorry, I, I'm live. Uh, silly beggars, I meant to say. PG rating, folks. All right, that's sort of in. Right, you should work. Yes, this, is, this has got an Electra plug. Electra, which was the brand name of electricity boards. So I think, I think it could, I think it is an electricity board special. Right, I'm going to plug this one in. Right, let's get some, uh, you know, I remember a few years back, there was somebody with a fetish for soft uh, bagged vacuums and they like to see them, the bags blown up. Um, I don't, they got some sort of pleasure from seeing it, you know. Now it's a queer as folk, as they say. Right. to be at a lower height don't you all right we can't see anything there can you can't see what i'm doing 
stay tuned for the video for this. Right, the bag door is fitted. It, um, now, I'll just explain the bag door. This broke when I was cleaning it, actually. It's a bit of a messy fix, but it's worked. I did buy um, another one of these from eBay. This part that's secured with four screws. But I knew when I bought it, I knew it was also broken because it's this part here that broke. And if that part breaks, then it means the bag door flies off. And if you try and lift it from the handle on the bag door, the bag door will come off, the cleaner will crash to the ground. Also, the bag door just popped off um, because the inflated bag would push it off. So it's a messy fix, but it's Q-Bond. I've never used it before, so I didn't really know what to do with it. So it's a bit of a mess, but it's it seems to have secured it. The only thing I, other thing I was planning on doing, because I bought the spare one, which was also broken because this bit was missing, I was going to drill two small holes either side and then use a cable tie and put it through the holes and try it like that. That was the other option. But I still have another one of these um, if I need it, but it seems to be holding. So that's good. I'll give you a quick look at this, uh, you know, going on the carpet. But uh, when when I've uh, when I upload the proper video of this, uh, the nicely edited one without all this palaver, you will uh, you'll see it actually properly cleaning. I think I will do it at home. I'll turn around and take this home because it's going to go well on my uh, living room carpet. This and I've also got the toolkit at home, so I can do a demo of the tools as well. My mum has normal carpets that most vacuums are okay with. Right. Oh, I need to be around this way. sounds pretty good so uh, that's a sneak peek at that so we've got three three gens of Hoover cleaners we've got a 90s we've got a 90s 92 Hoover Turbo Power Boost we've got a 1980 Hoover High Power Compact Exclusive and we've also got a 1960 what did I say this was 68 Hoover Junior. There we go. Three lovely cleaners for versatile around the house cleaning. As as the advert went. Okay, I'll answer all your hate comments and your nastiness, and then I'll be off. That was just the sun's coming out now. We can we can view that lovely, lovely image of the sun shining behind these vintage cleaners. Which is your favourite, folks? Mm, I would say, personally, the middle one is mine because it's a lot rarer. Well, the Hoover Junior is fairly rare, that particular one. The Turbo Power's ten a penny. Well, they're not so much now. Now the sun's going, look. Is that an omen? Go away, clouds. Right. Oh, I've got my contact lenses in, so I won't be able to see your comments. <laughs> Damn. Damn and blast. Right. Right, good afternoon to everybody. Um, James is enjoying his dinner um, while watching this. I can't eat without having something on the TV. I know when I was a child we had to sit at the table, but now, I mean, I can't, I physically cannot digest food unless I've, I've got something on the television. I've just finished the box set of The House of Elliot and I, I've been bereft. I've, oh no, I've finished it. What am I going to do? So I'm having to find other things to watch while having my dinner. Uh, hello, Carter Vacuums and more. Uh, Joey says, I got a new vacuum today on clearance. I got a shark wand vac system. Well, I hope you enjoy it, but I can't see your shark 
lasting anywhere near as long as any of these cleaners, even that 92 machine, <laughs> let alone one from 60. Uh, eight, did I say 68 or 67? 68, I think. I will be doing some more robotic vacuums. I do have about six or seven. You've not seen both Dyson ones. You can't get them anymore, I don't think. Uh, a Hoover one, a uh, couple of Roombas. Um, I nearly bought a Neato. Another Nito. I do have one Nito. Right now, see, see, I shouldn't. Lost some space. It's commenting, and now it's all gone. Right, I'm going to have to scroll back down, folks. Anyway, you've got something pretty to look at, haven't you? Rather than me, I will not turn the camera around. I haven't shaved. I have washed. Um. Hello, Melissa. How do you clean rollers? Well, it depends. Are you talking about agitators? Well, the agitator for the Hoover Turbo Power Boost, being all plastic, I took off the end caps and the bearings and shoved it in the sink and gave it a good scrub and a rinse and let it dry. If they're a metal one, then I don't put those in the sink. I just wipe them and then a bit of metal polish, tea cut. If they're very heavily ingrained on the beta bars, I might use a Brillo pad. Oh, we've got the Hoover Turbo Power 1984 watching. You must, you must recognise this relative of yours, do you? A younger relative, because that one's from 92. Right. Do I have Hunter Wellies? No, I do not have Hunter Wellies. Um, I think they're made in China now anyway. Um, I am aware of Hunter Wellies. I probably have a pair of Wellington boots, but I believe they were unbranded as the ones for about 10 quid. I don't wear them often. There is a video I think I put Wellies on. I don't know which one. I was doing a very big mess test and I had to put Wellington boots on. It might have been that uh, Henry Wet and Dry, but I'm sure I've worn them in a couple of videos. But no, they're not Hunter. When you gonna sell the Turbo Master? I don't know now. eBay, it's just such a hassle now, eBay. I've just sold three vacuums on eBay. One of them I had to relist because although I listed it as, I listed all the faults and I had a few and I put, read all the listing first before you bid. And then the winning bidder said, oh, I didn't realise it, it didn't work. So after doing a lot of swearing, I, um, <laughs> what can you do? I just had to wait and cancel the sale. And so now that um, particular person who can't read is, is blocked. You can block folks um, from eBay. If you get mucked about on eBay, folks, block them. And then they can't bid again. I always block. You go into your block buyers and bidders list and you put their eBay name. And then if you list something else, they can't bid on it. Um, I always do that. Because I'm, I, I, people just mess you about. So I've no plans on selling that Turbo pa uh, Master yet. Oh, in that box, there's another brand new vacuum there. Look, I'm going to make a video of that while I'm here. Yes, isn't a patch on these, of course, but one has to show the new with the old. Right. I shouldn't stop looking at your comments because I have to keep going back now. Right, oh heck. Stop commenting for half an hour, please. Um, right, hang on. Right, I've done the Hunter Wellies, right. Do I have a Becco washer? No, of course I don't. I used to have a Becco tumble dryer, but I don't even have that anymore. My mum has one, but uh, with the cost of living and stuff, she never turns it on. Uh... 
Becco is better. Oh, I can't read that. Well, Becco boy, who must be biased, Becco is betting thing else than a. I think translated that possibly Becco boy is saying Becco is the best. There's nothing better than a Becco. Well, that's. You can think that. I don't, but if that's what you think and you're happy with Becco, good for you. The best vacuum collector. Does the bag decrease after it's been switched on a few times? I'm not sure what that means. Does it decrease? I don't know. You'll have to uh, say that again so I can understand. Right. Dyson is so annoying. What, James Dyson or the Dyson vacuum? You have to be more, more, more precise than what you're saying there. Both, possibly. Oh dear. Well, sneak peek then. Because in that box there is a Dyson. <gasps> I know. Well, my last Dyson I did fairly recently was a popular video and I thought, well... They're not my cup of tea personally, but some people like them. A lot of those are, you know, locked up now in institutions, but no, I'm joking. I don't mind what people buy, it's up to you. If you like Dyson, if you like Shark, if you like Miele, Sibo, Hoover, Electrox, whatever you like, that's fine by me. You, you do you and I'll do me. I can't fix a Hoover, my toy Hoover Junior. I have no idea how to fix those. They all, they all don't work. Maybe I'll get round to it. Um, I'll probably have to wait till I'm a really old man. But I have started, as I mentioned earlier, I have started actually starting to refurbish some vacuum cleaners. But I've still got so much more to do at home and things and got decorating to do. But I hope, you know, maybe when I'm uh, 70 odd, I'll... Uh, actually start putting videos up of me refurbishing. Hello, Greg. Uh, Hoover Vacuum Cleaner says, I have a Hoover Turbo Power Autoflex from 1990. I need a new motor. Are you sure you need a new motor? Hey, John, got a new motor? Most people won't know that reference. It was a song by Alexi Sale, possibly in the 80s. Um, Turbo power motors are normally fairly easy to fix up. You might find if, unless it's the bearings have completely gone. I keep seeing videos of people putting oil in bearings and I'm thinking, don't, <laughs> you don't oil them. Some, some bearings you do oil, but most you don't oil them. You put grease in, you don't put oil in them. Um, take it, now I've been watching this gentleman got a small channel I think it's he's called uh, the channel's called Scrimpers UK he's 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 older than me so he's an old man probably retired and he tinkers with things in his uh, workshop and he's done a few Hoover videos and he used to actually you know be a Hoover service engineer I think he had an electrical shop and um, so he's got a lot of experience fixing up Hoovers and there's a few on his channel there's a dust set there's junior there's a senior and some old ones and he's got the proper Hoover grease gun and all that palaver so I tend to take his word for you know refurbishing an older Hoover because he did it for a living and he you know he was trained to do it so you do not put grease in most Hoover bearing uh, grease. so you do put grease you don't put oil in them but anyway, it might make it sound better for a bit, but it's um, in the long run, it's not a good thing to do. I'm try I try to buy a Hoover grease gun. They come up on eBay occasionally, but it went for a silly amount of money. Um, so, you know, you can still buy the bearings for some of the older cleaners, you know, on eBay. Right, let's just pull back a bit because I'm like, the sun is in my eyes now. <coughs> There we go. That's better. Oh. 
Do, do, do. Oh, crikey. You see, I've stopped talking and now I'm having to scroll back down for half an hour to see what you're saying. Do, 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 do. Um, just chat amongst yourselves, folks, while I'm trying to get back to where I was. Right, I've done that. The best vacuum collector says it's surprising how well Hoover Jr. has coped with thick pile carpets. Well, all my older machines tend to cope with, certainly with my living room carpet, better than a lot of the new ones. It's because they have an adjustable height. Um, I don't know. Oh, I've done that a bit. Um, mm -hmm. Hoover vacuum cleaners. I tend to like vintage machines more than new machines. They are made better, pick up better, and just work better in general. I would agree. They're not what I use from day to day. Um, uh, uh, what am I using at the moment at home? I can't say what I'm using at the moment because that's the video coming up on Friday. But I'll soon go, go bored of that. Um, but I do tend to use modern SIBOs at home. Because I'm not, um, I don't, you know, I do like to use the old ones. It's, it's great, but I wouldn't use them day to day. Yeah. Becca Boy says, Mila costs 2,000 euros. Oh, are you not in the UK? Well, they don't cost 2,000 euros or 2,000 pounds. Well, one or two cost that. Mine was 1,600. Um, but you can get a Mila washer, I think, from around 800 pounds, which is probably around 800 euros. Who is suggesting a candy? Crikey. Oof. If I didn't have a Mila... I did like the AEG I had, and that's still going. That's um, in somebody else's house, but it's still working. I did like that AEG. Um, I might I might go for Bosch, um, but I'm quite happy with my Mila. Crikey, the sun is right in my eyes. No, I don't think WD-40 is very good either to put on your brush or it depends if it's a if it's a newer machine well that's up to you dear me you're talking amongst yourselves there mm -hmm. hello david lapper Does anyone else think it's ridiculous how much vacuum cleaners go for sometimes? Yes, it is ridiculous. I've paid ridiculous prices, but sometimes I've had absolute bargains. Um, there is a cleaner coming up that was an absolute bargain, um, but it was an American vacuum. Had that been listed as a UK vacuum, it would have gone for hundreds, but because it was on eBay America, I got a very mint, and I won't say what it is yet, but a very mint Hoover cleaner for $65. It looks like it just, it's 60 years old and it looks like it just came out of the factory. You'll be seeing that at some point. Uh, could I suggest a new washing machine? Not really. I like my Mila. <laughs> Don't really do washing machines. You need to go to a washing machine channel. Besides vacuums, what you, what's your favourite car? I don't have one. I don't drive. My favourite car is the one I sit in at the back and fall asleep after five minutes. And then I wake up two minutes before my, I arrive at my destination. And um, it's like having a, a self-drive car, but it isn't. It is driven by somebody, but... As far as I'm concerned, I just get in the back, 
look at something on my iPad, something I've downloaded from YouTube, fall asleep, listen to a bit of music maybe, and um, that's fine. Rick Hoover rarely buys vacuums from eBay anymore. People jack up the prices way too much these days. I mostly get parts from eBay, mostly now. Well, eBay is the place I get most of mine from because I'm not in any vacuum groups because nobody likes me in those groups. I know I'm quite hated in the communities. Um, so I'm not on any of them because if I go on them, I, I wouldn't be able to resist searching for my channel name and then I'll see all the nasty comments. So I'm not on groups, so I can't get access to, you know, people can't say, oh, I've got this, blah, blah. So I have to rely on eBay more or less for all mine. So I do have to pay a lot unless I get lucky, um, which is quite a lot, a lot of times I do get lucky um, with the vacuum. And sometimes you see eBay put them on buy, people put them on buy it nows and you think, crikey, that's cheap. I'm having that. And, you know, I prefer to buy vacuums from non-collectors. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that obviously I bought from collectors. But if you buy a vacuum and they're clearly not a collector of vacuums, they have no idea about the possible intrinsic value of them. They just see it as an old Hoover. Oh, oh take it to the tip. Oh, I'll put it on eBay. Somebody might take it. So that's the best way to get cheap ones. But yes, if it's a collector or a very collectible vacuum, then obviously bidding will go up. I just bid automatically. I don't sort of bid and then, you know, wait for somebody to outbid me. I used, you know, early days of eBay, that's what people did. But I use a programme, so I just go in and put my maximum bid, the maximum I'd be willing to pay, and I just forget it. I just put it in. It automatically bids for me. Um, sometimes I win it, sometimes I don't. I lost out on one recently by about two pounds, I think, but I wasn't all that bothered about it. But that's how I do. I just don't bid. I just think, right, how much would I pay for that maximum? Put it in and then forget about it until it. I get an email saying either either won it or haven't won it. But you do get a lot of time wasters on eBay. As a, when you're a seller, you get time wasters. But also, you'll find a lot of vacuums on eBay. I've seen this time and time again, where a vacuum gets bid out of all proportion. You know, you think, crikey, that's a lot of money. I've seen it recently, um, a Hoover Senior, an orange Hoover Senior. I've got one, so I didn't bother bidding on it. It went for a few hundred, and I thought, that's going to get relisted, because whoever won that is not going to pay for it. And yes, it was relisted, because they didn't, the winning bidder didn't pay for it and that happens a lot and it's happened with me as well so that's what I, I always as I said I block people from bidding again if I'm mucked about once I don't give them a second chance anymore it's just same with eBay uh, so, same with YouTube it depends what sort of mood I'm in when I'm reading the comments but if I get some comment that I don't like then I don't sort of sometimes I let it pass but depending on the mood, if I'm in a mood, then I'll just block them. I, I don't respond, I just block. So um, that's up to me anyway. I can do that because it's my channel. Um, I'm just not, not going to put up with it anymore, you see. Just block, block, block. And I don't care if that makes me, people think, oh, he's nasty, he's blocked. Well, don't be nasty to me and you won't get blocked. Simples, as they say. Oh, it's hard to read this with the sun in my eyes. Right. Dee -dee -dee. Uh, once you get a good working older machine like a turbo power, it's way better. Well, yes, way better than a Dyson. Um, well, I would agree. Any, I mean, the three cleaners in front of me are way better than a Dyson when they're, you know. They, all those sea cleaners would work on my carpet at home with no trouble. But people on the whole don't want old fashioned cleaners like that. They look at things like that, these three lovely cleaners, and they just think, oh, that's, what's that? Oh, it's got a bag in it. Oh, no. I don't want, I really can't understand people who just say bagless cleaners are better. I mean, they're so filthy. 
absolutely filthy, disgusting things, even the better ones with good cyclones, they still are dirty, messy things to empty. And, you know, the companies that go on about, oh, it's sealed, the, oh, it's sealed, it traps 99.9%, .9%, blah, blah. And then I'm thinking, well, yeah, but when you open up the container to empty it, you're going to breathe some of that in. But with an efficient bagged cleaner, you, you might breathe a little bit in. But I, I mean, that's why I, when I make the videos, when I do a bag list, you, I show the filter and it's all filthy and blah, blah. But normally if I'm showing a modern bagged cleaner, even an older bag cleaner, I'll show you the inside. Say, look, all the muck's hidden away in this bag. And then I take the bag out and you see the bag compartment. The video coming up on Friday is a modern cleaner you can buy now, but it's bagged. I pick up a load of dirt with it take the bag out and I show the inside of the bag compartment, absolutely spotless, no filter cleaning needed. It's just so much cleaner. But you know, if you, if people watching like a bagless, you get a bagless. Personally, as I said, for day-to-day -day use, I tend to use SIBOs for, you know, for my normal cleaning and they're all bagged machines. I, I would not want to use a bagless for day to day, maybe a cordless one from time to time. I'd, I'd whip one of those around. But as far as mains powered cleaners go, it's bagged all the way for me and I'm going to stick to bags. And uh, who knows, maybe James Dyson will realise the error of his ways and put a lovely bag in one of his cleaners. I wish Shark would. Um, sh shark would improve. I mean, why don't Shark just make uh, uh, just test the market with a, a small selection. They could have a, you know, a unique colour to them. They could all be white or something, but they could be like an exclusive little range of bag and just test the market and see. But people are so brainwashed that uh, they're like, oh no, I have to buy bags, man. <sighs> a shark would be improved with a bag because you wouldn't have all that filter washing. Sharks are pretty bad for the filters getting dirty pretty quick. Right, I'll just catch up with any more comments and then I best be off. Oh, crikey, 52 minutes. Da -da -da. Uh, do you know Grateful Dead Europe 72? No, I don't know. What is that? Is it a type of vacuum cleaner? I've heard of the Grateful Dead um, band. Is that who you're talking about? I would, I couldn't name any of their songs. It's not the sort of stuff I'd listen to. Oh, I've done the favourite car. I haven't got one. Um, done all the eBay ranting. I was going to buy a Electrolux Z345, but my bank weren't, well, weren't, won't make purchases from the UK. Well, if you're buying it from eBay, I'm assuming, can you not use PayPal? Because I buy American vacuums, no problem. I bought German vacuums, an Italian vacuum, using PayPal. Uh, wait, where is the other vacuum you had that looked just like this one? Which, what, that, that one? Because I did have one of those before, an earlier video, but that's completely wrecked. I looked at the video this week and thought, oh, it's broken at the back, but I didn't realise it's also broken somewhere near the bottom. So that one I've got, but that's going to be harvested for parts. I'm going to strip it for parts. The motor in that sounded pretty good, so the motor from that tatty one the turbo power boost might go in that one if i can't get that sounding better but yeah it's much yellow more yellow than that that should be gleaming white it's it's off white but that should be gleaming white um so i'm going to harvest parts i'll certainly take the lens off the wheels all the tools um whatever's good in it i'll take out and mains cable the hose and then the rest of it will just, just go in the bin because it's all broken anyway. So I'll probably take that home with me 
um, so I can uh, get rid of the broken one. I'm going to take all these home with me, I think. I'm not at home, in case you didn't know. Oh, crikey, I'm back to the Hunter Wellies. I've answered that. There's some odd folk about. What's Hunter Wellies got to do with vacuum cleaners? Da, da, da. What's my opinion of the Dyson V8? Are you asking me, Henry Hound? Well, I did a video on it, didn't I? Did you? I've, didn't, I've done several videos. That's, it was all right for a cheap, a cheaper Dyson. It's pretty good, I, th I, I thought. That, that's a fairly recent video I did on the later V8. It's a good entry-level Dyson, you know. I won't knock Dyson if there's some Dysons. I like the V12 if you're going higher up with the permanent on-off switch. Um, James Greenway, I've just bought myself a George and it's the best thing I've ever bought for above floor cleaning. Uh, brought up my car lovely and stairs and my chairs. Thank you, Roger, as you're recommending. Well, James, yes, I do agree with the George. It is good for above floor, for wet use above floor. Not so good for carpets. Um, just doesn't have the agitation. It's good for hard floors as well, but it's hard work. I've got two Georges. I've got one here at my mum's and she's got a very big kitchen. And um, when I'm here, I normally give her floor a good scrubbing with the George, but it's not, you know, it is break your back work to do it properly. You spray on the stuff, wet, wet an area of the floor, scrub it in with the scrubbing brush side of the hard floor uh, cleaner head. Then of course you flip it over and squeegee it all up and it's almost dry instantly. And that really brings her floor up. She's got a Vax Glide that I gave her. That just skims over the surface compared to a you know, proper scrub. So if you haven't tried your George um, on a hard floor, it's a, it's a bit of work, but um, it's very good. Not as easy as using one of the little cordless floor washers, but you know, like a cordless vacuum, they're okay for day-to-day -day use, but if you want a really deep clean, you need mains power, in my opinion. Um, D. Oh, happy birthday, Greg. It's his birthday on Saturday. Hello, Lauren. I'm fine, thank you. I hope you're okay. Right, I've answered the Hunter Wellies. You obviously didn't hear me. Roger, are you fixed old vacuum cleaner? Um, yes. <laughs> Yeah, the sun's going now. Uh, Hoover vacuum cleaners. I always think, why are most companies discontinuing bagged cleaners? Because the manufacturer gets money from the bags. And bags are only like three pounds anyway. And you could get a ten pack. I don't know why. I'm glad that some manufacturers still are doing bagged cleaners. And they must, you know, but they tend to be sort of more niche brands. Because, um, well, Hoover in the UK still offer a couple of bagged cylinders, not any more uprights. Now the Pure Power slash Enigma, that seems to have gone completely. So that was one of the last bagged uprights, you know, cheap. Obviously, there's SIBO. What other uprights, sort of more mainstream, I can't think in the UK, apart from SIBO, that make an upright. There's, oh, yeah, there's VacMaster. I've shown that on my channel. Oh, there's a Zanussi, isn't there? Um, and Mila, of course, no longer do an upright. That's discontinued. It's a shame that. It was a big, heavy beast, but it was good. I wish Mila would have made a, a smaller, comp more compact upright. But they didn't sell, you know, they didn't sell well. Certainly not in the UK and Europe. Uh, uh, do Lawrence says, do you have old vacuum cleaner in YouTube channel? <laughs> a few. Yeah, couple. <laughs> Probably at least 300. I don't know. <laughs> no, 
No, there must be at least 200 old vacuum cleaner videos. At least. I don't know. There's thousands of videos on my channel. I don't know how many I've got videos. I haven't looked, but it's well over a thousand. Uh, these are old vacuums in, uh, that you can see. These these are old. 92, 80, 68. Not, that's not how old they are. That's the year they were made, of course. I don't have any 92-year-old vacuums. I don't think... I might have one, I don't know. I haven't fixed the Mila that blew up. I do have a, I have another one similar that I did show again with the power head um, that works. So I don't know what I'll do with that Mila that blew up. At some point I'll have another look at it. Or I might just sell it on and let someone else fix it. Yes, James, you can do your patio if you want to. You can scrub your patio with the George. There's no reason why you can't. I can't see a reason. I've replied to you, Daryl. You obviously weren't listening, so I won't reply again. Um, right, I think that's it. So just a quick-ish, one hour impromptu quick video showing what I'm up to because I said I thought I wanted to initially show this which is an old video on my channel it's somewhere it'll be my Hoover vacuum playlist or my vintage vacuum and I as I said I'm not at home so I've been watching some of my older things and getting acquainted with some older vacuums and I saw the video I did of that initially and couldn't believe that I never switched it on in the video. So I thought I'll switch it on here. I don't think it's plugged in now, is it? No, I think you are plugged in. Are you plugged in? I think this one's plugged in. We'll see a bit of headlight action. So yeah, this, I'm at my mum's house and I've, I've got, I don't know how many I've got in the loft, but more than a hundred vacuums in her loft. A couple of hundred in my storage unit and probably a couple of hundred at home. So <laughs> ridiculous. But I am sort of trying to sell them bit by bit. Some of them, not all. I mean, that is one that's going to be buried with me. I've got quite a few that will never be sold. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to them when I kick the bucket. I haven't made a will, but there's some I won't part with. That's one of them. My almost new in the box Hoover Conquest cylinder, which I haven't done a proper demo of that, but I will do. That's not going anywhere. Nor is my almost new in the box Senior, my Constellation. Uh, they, oh, I've probably got a hundred that I'm never going to part with. That would be good if I can get down. If I can get my collection down to a hundred, that's uh, be a bit more manageable. I need to get my collection <laughs> to a reasonable level where I can keep them all at my house and not have to fork out for a storage unit. And obviously, I won't be able to leave all these vacuums at my mum's house because, well, you know, uh, people do depart this earth don't they and i won't i don't think whoever buys this house is going to take too kindly to me saying well is it if i keep my hoovers in the loft i'll give you some rent for them i don't think that's going to happen so there's going to be a stage unless i win the lottery and, and can afford a huge house and have my own little vacuum museum fingers crossed well i don't do the lottery so i won't premium bonds my premium bonds come up or if um a very wealthy billionaire who secretly likes my channel leaves me a load of money in their will um i'm gonna have to downsize at some stage but at least i've got a record of all the cleaners well not everything because obviously i've not been <laughs> i've been collecting for a lot longer than i've been on youtube but um going forward i'm going to um sort of refurbish cleaners that you've seen first look videos of you're not seeing proper demos I'm still going to do the new machines just to keep up to date with what's going on. And maybe I'll I'll get old enough to bring you um, a proper 
robotic help house, well not housewife, you can't say that nowadays, can you? Maybe, I know we've got little robotic vacuums and floor washers, but in my lifetime, we might see a proper human shaped robot that will not only do the vacuuming, will also empty the dishwasher, clean the cooker, scrub the toilet. I might live long enough to show you one of those on my channel. Uh, by then though, I'll probably be peeing my own panties and having to be fed through a straw. But anyway, I'm still going to be on YouTube. As long as YouTube still exists, I'll still be bringing these ridiculous vacuum cleaning things on my channel. So that's it, folks. Let's just double check. Any late comers? What's my newest vacuum? That one in that box. That's the latest one I've just bought. I'm not going to tell you what it is, aren't I cruel? So that's it, folks. Tune in on Friday at 7pm UK time for a new unboxing and review and demonstration. It's not just the first look, proper demos, demo on pet hair, demo on carpets, demo on hard floors, proper 35 minute video. I try to make it shorter. Well, it went on for over an hour. I do have to heavily edit my videos, folks. 35 minutes is far too long anyway for most people, but yeah. You'd be amazed at how much footage I actually record that you don't see. Um, but anyway, I am conscious that people have very short attention spans. But that's why they have those short things, isn't it, on YouTube now? And don't get TikTok, by the way. I'm not on TikTok. If you want all your, all your information sent over to China to do with whatever they want to do with it, you stay on TikTok, but I'm never going on TikTok. It's bad enough being on Facebook and Instagram. They're still, you know, I'm still they know they I'm sure they know what size pants I take. I keep getting art, um, um, tea, not what's the word. I still still keep getting adverts for men's underpants. I bought some recently for, you know, the, the special ones that keep keep your meat and two veg separate. Um, so I bought some and they're very good, very comfy, uh, very soft. But I keep getting un inundated now with men in underpants on Facebook and Instagram just because I bought some new underpants. I don't know why. It's disgusting, isn't it? I don't need so many. I've got 20 pairs. That's more than enough, surely. It's funny enough, I don't get so many vacuum. Um, <laughs> why don't I get so many vacuum adverts on Instagram? I do get some, but not as many as I should. It's probably because I buy so many anyway. They think, oh, there's no point in advertising to him. He's going to buy them anyway. We won't waste our money. Right, I'll be off. Um, oh dear, right. Premiere, I don't know what that means. Right, so yes, Friday, 7pm, a new video of a modern vacuum cleaner you can buy at the moment. It's a goodie, I would recommend it, but I'm not telling you what it is. You'll have to tune in at 7pm on my channel, iBasiIk, on the YouTube which is what you're watching this on. So thanks for watching everyone. This impromptu live and I'll see you